okay so let's begin with this uh, <coughs> so first of all good evening everyone thanks for joining this session that we are going to start with let me introduce first i am santosh and uh, i am working as a technical specialist it's more than 15 years of experience with the different technologies with the different domains i am working for at present my company is basically it's a california based i am working for them and the area of expertise that i am working is uh, about the uh, rpm it's especially the ui path and now from last one year i am working with the power automate also so it's the rpa it's about the dot net it's about the database it's about the python the data science portion the data visualization like uh, power bi tableau and all because my profile is as a technical specialist i need to work so i need to assist with all the project and all so people having the problem and all i am going to assist them if some un unsolved problem is there in the organization that i need to solve so basically my role is this and i am taking all these session like this particular session that we are going to start with it's about the rpa ui path i am taking all this session online online especially last 3 years around and before that it's not only 3 years uh, my training exposure the entire training exposure because you can say like it's my hobby i am taking the training sessions and all i am not getting the enough time i am only getting the 2 hours in the evening and 2 hours in the morning that time i am utilizing and i am taking all these sessions especially this rpa ui path multiple batches is going on and people are getting the good result people are getting the good result so the things is going on properly so this rpa ui path this session that we are going to start with the entire duration it will takes around 2 months to complete this session the entire duration it will takes around 2 months to complete the session so many times people are asking me the question santosh why you are going to take the two months time two months can we make it in one month try to understand i am also taking the corporate batches in the corporate batches i am taking the session the entire session in two days saturday sunday morning 9 to 5 and my target like uh, i need to complete the entire session but believe me that session is not going to be utilized by the candidates the reason is like when we are going to learn any individual technology na no? technology is a kind of thing that we need to digest we are not going to learn the technology i am going to do the things you are also going to do the things at the your machine it's not about the learning it's about you need to digest like we are getting the trouble we are getting some problem we are getting the error we are going to resolve that error so definitely if we are going to give some enough time so every technology deserves some respect we need to give some time so i am taking this much of time it's it will takes around 2 month to complete the entire rpa ui path now people are asking me the question santosh you are taking this session rpa ui path already we have uh, lots of uh, like uh, study materials available with the google at the youtube also we have so many videos recordings are there available with the youtube so how your session is different from all these recordings and everything number 1 it's a live session number 2 try to understand i don't need to ask the user like I, my agenda is not to increase the view time my agenda is not to get the subscriber my agenda is you people need to get the job you need to get the result you need to get the good options this is my agenda so purpose is entirely different so what i am talking about i am talking about the use cases i am talking about the real time scenario i am talking about the live project kind of thing i am talking about like in the real time what are the scenarios over there i am trying to put all my expertise that we are facing in the company as a problem that we are facing in the companies i am telling you in our organization people are joining with the companies having the two year of experience having three year of experience and believe me they are missing with the basic stuff forget about the advance so this particular session here we are going to do all the things practically 
all the use cases all the real time scenarios we are going to discuss in the session and it's not we are going to discuss we are going to implement that in the session itself i'm not asking you like you need to do this or you need to do that boss people don't have the time everyone is busy nowadays it's not the like it's not a college session it's not a school session so ba basically you are taking the one hour time like it's important and that one hour time i need to utilize so i am utilizing all this time in the session itself all the use cases all the scenarios all the questions and answer that people are going to ask you in the interviews everything i am going to cover in the session itself along with the different types of assignment the projects and all so this is the session like how it is different my session is different from the existing one like we have the recording and all multiple see multiple session is going on regarding this i am telling you like these are the session it's get completed earlier like ocr old current batch was there so all these batches get completed i am telling you like these are the batches like it's completed earlier like one year back like that so these are the batches like it's going on so multiple batches is going on multiple batches get completed so i am not going to do any research and development with you try to understand every path is defined what i need to deliver what are the things you people required in the interviews what are the things you people required in the companies everything is like it's already defined that just i need to implement the things and i need to deliver things accordingly so it's not like i am going to do the task and all it's not running it's not working i am going to open the powerpoint presentation no no in my entire life i am taking the training session and i never use the ppt and all it's not my practice what is the ppt boss anyone can download the ppt anyone can create the ppt they can read the ppt this is not the session session means what you need to clear get the clear explanation you need to get the clear practical exposure you need to get the clear advantage the drawback everything you need to be and you need to get all the things practically so this is my entire session is going to be like that after every session you people are going to get the recording and the notes will be there the recording and the notes will be there now i am talking about the detail course content what are the course contents we have i am talking about the detail course contents we have so what are the course content we have see my responsibility is not only you are going to get complete the ui path even if you are going to complete only the ui path you are not going to get the job it's only going to complete the 70% of the entire profile it's only going to cover the 70% of the entire profile the 30% extra the people are looking for i am also going to cover that portion otherwise you are not going to get the job that's the simple answer so what exactly is that so here i am talking about the complete profile after my session if you are going to put some fake experience or if you are going to manage some experience of 2 year up to 3 years minimum 1 and 1/2 year you people can justify that level of experience in the company you people can justify that level of experience in the companies like you are going to say after the session if you are going to say them i have like i have the experience of 1.5 years in the ui path they are going to ask you the question and you people are going to justify this this is the outcome of the entire session okay so what i am talking about i am talking about the course content i am going to divide my entire course content into the three parts number 1 we have the core portions of the ui path number 2 we have the advanced portions of the ui path and number 3 the few other things that i am talking about so entire course is divided into the three parts in this core ui path portion we are going to discuss with the rpa what exactly this rpa is what is the advantage of rpa why rpa how the rpa is going to be like right now rpa is the hot cake in the market right now i am telling you rpa is the hot cake in the market as per the google trend 
this RPI is growing like anything. I am telling you, honestly speaking, I am telling you, if someone is going to ask me the question, Shantos, I need to get the job in the IT, what to do? I am telling you, they need to do this RPI. My suggestion is always like just initially, like at present, you can do this, uh, like you can go with the RPA, complete this UI path and all, and you will get the job. If you have some exposure, you are going to get the job in this UI path and all. So the entire course content here we are talking about, at first we are going to learn about all the fundamentals about the RPA. Then we are going to learn about the UI path, UI path studio. Then we are going to learn about the installation portions over there how we are going to install all these things over there and then we are going to start our session over there practically we are going to start with the session we are going to discuss about the different types of workflow here we have the different types of workflow is there here we have the flow chart here we have the sequence here we have the state machine here we have the global handler so we are going to learn about all these workflow then we are going to learn about like how to display then we are going to learn about how we are going to take the input then we are going to discuss about how we are going to declare the variables how we are going to apply the calculations then we are going to discuss about how to apply the if how to apply the case then we are going to discuss about how to work with the loop the different categories of the loops and all then we are going to discuss about how to work with the array then we are going to discuss about how to work with the list the collection part the collection that I am talking about. This is the initial portions of the UI path. It will take around two to three session. It will take around two to three session. I am always telling like these are the alphabets of the UI path. UI path, the RPA, it's all about the automation. The RPA, robotic process automation. UI path, it's all about the automation. But automation journey will get a start once you are familiar with the alphabets these are the alphabets of the ui path and believe me if the people having some exposure in the ui path na, if the people having some exposure in the ui path still in this session you are going to learn the new things from my side if someone is going to tell me like no no santos i know all these things i have the basic ideas and all believe me from the first session you are going to learn the new things over there. Yeah, these things are not available with the documentations and all. Okay, so after this, we are going to start our automation journey. After this, we are going to start our automation journey. First of all, we are going to learn about the Excel automation. Excel automation is the most important thing in the entire UI path. Normally, I am taking all this session. So many times people are asking me the question like this topic on that topic because once the people are like anyone, if they are going to join, definitely they need to ask the questions and all. And maximum of the time people are talking with me like it's about the advanced portions of the UI path. But they forget about this Excel automation. I am telling you the 40% of the entire task is going to cover by this Excel automation. Every time in the interviews, the 40% of the question you are going to get from the Excel automation. And we are going to do all the, all every activities related with the Excel automation. We are going to do it properly. Either it's a micro or it's a VBA or it's a dynamic data. It's a dynamic Excel and all. We are going to learn about everything with the Excel automation. Here we need to learn about the data table. We need to learn about the filter, we need to learn about the joins, we need to learn about the merge. We are going to, so all these things we are going to cover with the Excel automation. And it's not only like we are going to cover this and we are not going to cover this. This is not the part of the syllabus. Nothing, we don't have any syllabus. We are going to cover each and everything. We are going to cover each and everything. So no need to worry about, no, no, this is not the part of the syllabus. It's not like that. I am not only the trainer who is taking the session. I am working with the UI path so I know what exactly people are looking for. So no need to worry about, we are going to learn everything over there. After this Excel automation, it will take around 3 sessions to make it complete. 
it will take around three sessions to complete the entire Excel automation. Because Excel automation is a kind of thing that it will be there till the last of the UI path. But more or less, it will take around three sessions to make it complete. And after that, we will start with the word automation. Like Excel is okay. Suppose I need to work with the MS Word then. I need to apply the mail merge then. For that purpose, we are going to apply this. So it's a word automation that we are going to learn about. Then we are going to learn about the PDF automation. How we are going to manipulate the PDF. Then we are going to learn about the recording. Then we are going to learn about the scrapping. Then we are going to learn about the selectors. Then we are going to learn about in the selector, so many things are there. We are talking about the wildcard, we are talking about the dynamic selectors, we are talking about the fuzzy selectors. So we are going to learn all these things. A scrapping again, main multiple things are there. Like we have the data scrapping, we have the skin scrapping, recording, basic recording, the desktop recording, the web recording, AI CV, artificial intelligence, computer vision recording. All these things we are going to learn over there. After this, we are going to learn about the background automation how we are going to apply the background automation. After this, we are going to learn about the mail automation. We are going to learn about the mail automation. We are going to learn about the mail automation. How we are going to send the mail, how we are going to read the mail, how we are going to send the attachment, how we are going to download the attachment. We are going to learn all these things over here. After that, we are going to learn about the error handling. Then we are going to learn about the debugging. Then we are going to learn about the config file. Before this, here we have the topic like a string handling. So many times what we need to do, we need to handle the string. Suppose we have the name. From the name, I want to get the first name. From the name, I want to get the last name. So we are going to learn about the string handling. We are going to learn about the date and time. Date and time that we are going to learn about. So we are going to learn about all these stuff over there. And after that, after this, here we have the options for the project we have. After this, we are going to learn about the project. Just one minute. Yeah. After this, we are going to learn about the, this is the time to work with one project. This entire project and you people don't need to do anything. I'm not going to tell you like you need to develop the project. You need to get the understanding now how to start with the project, from where you need to start, what will be the entry of the project, what will be the exit of the project, during the project, what are the things we need to consider. So I'm going to give you the details about the project. I'm going to say the recording of the project and that project you need to follow with your system and you need to complete that now our core ui path portions get completed along with one project and this is the project that you people are going to showcase in your resume i will show you what exactly that what you need to write and what you need to describe in the interviews after that the next portions we have i'm talking about the advanced portions of the ui path in the advanced portions of the UI path, we are going to start with the RE framework. But directly we are not going to start with the RE framework. So many times, I am telling you, I am getting the questions like, because see, more or less we are the public figure. People are trying to connect us with the problems and all, and we need to respond. If I can, definitely, this is my responsibility to respond. Because these all are the community we have. So I am getting the question maximum of the time. I'm getting the questions from the RE framework. And what people believe, normally what people believe, like RE framework is the most complicated kind of thing, stuff in the UI path. But it's not exactly. RE framework is there the, to make the things easy for you. It's not there to make the things complicated for you. But normally people believe like RE framework is the complicated stuff. The reason is they are trying to learn the RE framework. <laughs> the reason is they are trying to learn the RE framework by starting it from this RE framework. What is this RE framework? No. RE framework is the combination of multiple topics. Before the RE framework, 
you should have the understanding about the variables and argument you should have the understanding about the state machine you should have the understanding about the state machine you should have the understanding about the config file already we covered over there because this concept we are also going to apply in our project so here we need to understand about the config file you need to get the good understanding about the data dictionary dictionary i am talking about that portion also we are going to cover with the config file and uh, you need to get the understanding of this error handling error handling and debugging already we covered the error handling and debugging portions over there because in the project we need to implement that so if you are going to comfortable with these topic along with you should have some good understanding with the orchestrator orchestrator is basically a kind of cloud based web based platform we have using that platform what we can do we can schedule we can stop we can kill we can retry the boat the process suppose some boat some application is going to run i want to stop that orchestrator suppose i need to schedule some process over there orchestrator so orchestrator is basically a kind of control system we have it's a kind of web based dashboard we have so we have the orchestrator so we are going to work with the orchestrator especially you need to understand about the queue okay we are also going to learn about the asset especially my focus will be there only the queue and then we will start with this re framework then we will start with this re framework so before the re framework you need to complete all these topics and then you can start with re framework and then you will get the clear and proper understanding of the re framework after this we are going to develop one project this project is entirely based on the re framework this project is going to be based on entirely it's going to be based on re framework after this and again i am going to describe the entire project in front of you i am going to describe everything in front of you after that what you people need to do like uh, you just need to follow the recording because it will take time around 5 to 6 hour at your system so what you need to do you just need to follow the recording step by step and your entire project get completed by the use of this re framework after this re framework here we are going to discuss about the orchestrator we are going to discuss about the orchestrator in the details here we only cover the queue portions of the orchestrator here we are talking about the unattended board attended board trigger we are going to discuss everything over there asset scheduler the log file we are uh, storage bucket we are going to learn everything with the orchestrator after this orchestrator we are going to learn about the object repository we are going to learn about the object repository we are going to learn about the aicb artificial intelligence computer vision we are going to learn about we are going to learn about the link language integrated query suppose we have the excel in our excel we have the 10000 record and i want to display that record i am going to apply the for loop i am going to apply for each row in data table so i am going to apply the loop definitely will take time to process the 10000 record so what is the like how we can minimize that time how we can increase the performance we are going to apply the link language integrated query so we are going to learn about the link language integrated query we are going to learn about the document understanding we are going to learn about the document understanding we are going to learn about the action center we are going to learn about the action center we are going to discuss about the api we are going to discuss about the json we are going to discuss about the xml we are going to discuss about the ui path forms ui path forms so these are the thing that we are going to cover in the advanced portions of the ui path now 
not the time to explore this try to understand what i am saying you are going to complete the ui path it's not enough to get the job along the ui path along with the ui path you should have some understanding of the c sharp python python and sql server now you don't need to worry about you can ask me like uh, so many time people are asking me santos i don't have the coding background i know don't know anything about the programming no need to worry about that's why i'm going to take the session and you people don't need to be the developer you don't need to be the project master you should have some understanding of the c sharp you should have some understanding of the python you should have some understanding of the sql server that's it i'm not going to take so many sessions with these things i'm just going to take two to three session with the c sharp i'm going to take one to two session of the python and I, along with the c sharp this portion will be their sql server so total i am going to take four to five session not more than that after the four to five session in your resume you people can write c sharp you can write the python what are the question they are going to ask you? you you will be able to give the answer of those questions here we are going to learn about the adio.net that is the part of the c sharp by the use of adio.net we are going to make the database connectivity and then we are going to learn about how to implement the c sharp with ui path we are going to learn about how to apply the python with ui path we are going to learn about how to apply the sql server with the ui path so these are the things that we are going to cover got my point so it's going to mix your entire profile after this, if you are going to send your resume, na, people are going to respond to you. Otherwise, they are not going to respond. In the UI path interview, no one is going to ask you the question of the Python. But if it's there in the resume, and if they are going to ask the basic question, if you are able to give the answer, it's more than enough. The same thing with the C sharp, the same thing with the SQL server. So this is what we are going to cover in the entire process. After every session, the recording will be there, the notes will be there. People are asking me the question. Yeah, sorry, some network issue was there. I got disconnected. Yeah, now it's, com it's coming over here. Yeah, am I audible? Yes. Okay, okay, that's good. Today we are facing some problem with this Airtel connections. Due to, might be due to this bad weather. Okay, so what I am talking about, what I am talking about, like uh, after every session, you people are going to get the recording, the notes will be there. If suppose you are going to miss the session, anytime you can join any batch, anytime you can join some other batch and all. Suppose you are facing the problem with the company, the support kind of stuff. All this support and everything from my side no need to worry about but support means support and I'm not going to charge anything for that support means if you have some problem with a question you having some question you having some conceptual problems over there I'm going to solve that definitely you need to work with the project if you have the problem anytime 24 by 7 I'm available 
no need to worry about got my point so all this support kind of stuff everything will be there people are also asking me about the placement the job try to understand i am not going to make any commitment with you no no you are going to get the job from my side it's not like that try to understand you also need to put your efforts and i am also going to forward your resumes and all it's more than 1 lakh students already working in the different company no need to worry about in my reference it's more than 1 lakh candidates worldwide they are working with the different companies i just i don't need to do anything i just need to put the message in the whatsapp group and all and i am getting the reward if someone having the vacancies and all they are going to forward me and what i will do i will share your resumes and all so this kind of support is always there for you it's not only like uh, after doing the course or it's within one it's not like that any time i will be there to help you out so this is the entire thing from my side remember remember initially 2 to 3 session it's going to be the demo session it will be the demo session initial 2 3 session is going to be the demo session this particular session i am not going to consider this as a demo session this session is all about the course content the road map the pro like entire plan so i am not going to consider this session as a demo session so we have the demo session tomorrow at the same time we have the demo session tomorrow at same time and that will be the first session we have okay in that session i will start it from what is this rpm you people can consider this as a demo session i am going to take my actual session got my point so initially 2 3 session you just get the things like how the things is going on how the things is going on and once you get comfortable with that i also need the confirmation from your side definitely after the one two or three session i am also expecting the payment from your side so further we can continue this particular batch got my point so initially two three session is the demo session get comfortable with the things then i am expecting the payments from your side so i can also make sure like you people are going to continue with the batch got it so we have the next session tomorrow at the same time i will share the link i will share the link with you and uh, so you people can join and we can continue with the sessions and all so any questions from your side regarding this entire process any questions from your side that you would like to discuss aruna you join late so i will share the recording you can also go with the recording it's fine yeah so yeah okay yeah so anyone please having any questions any problem from your side any questions ram any questions from your side mm hmm yeah it's a great help for you in my entire session if i am taking the session 50% of the students they are from the testing background they are from the testing background so it's going to be help you out a lot and it's in the demand so no need to worry about just carry on yeah yeah anyone having any question ram Aruna okay you join late <laughs> and blue print my forget your name so it's fine like if you have any question see basically the saturday and sunday i am honestly speaking i am taking that session the weekend session i am taking few batches are also there but believe me it's not going to be beneficial for the candidate like we have the saturday and session and if you are going to miss one saturday session na then you are going to attend the session after 15 days in the meantime people are going to forget everything so this particular session we are going to put the session in the alternate day 
like we will keep this session like tuesday thursday saturday sunday kind of that so like it's an alternate day session suppose in one session you are busy with some other task and all a recording will be there you can just go through with the recording so in this way the things will get completed properly got my point yeah and this is the alternate day session and i will keep your timing for the batch like it's a tuesday thursday and saturday sunday okay so three days four days week we have the session so you can do it properly like uh, otherwise weekend session honestly i am telling you i am not getting the result from the candidates the reason is like see saturday sunday everyone is the family man like <laughs> definitely we need to do other works also so saturday sunday some maximum of the time people are going to miss the session i am going to share the recording with them A recording is only like it's going to be utilized if you are going to attend the live session if you are not attending the live session then recording no use of that got my point one or two session if you are missing recording is there you can go with that but we cannot make it a pattern so that's why this session is there and tuesday thursday saturday sunday we have this session so no need to worry about okay okay thanks everyone tomorrow we have the session i will share the link you people can join okay thank you so much okay thank you thank you so much bye bye okay ram thank you so much okay aruna bye okay okay any question ram